I, uh, if you know this channel, Ichiban, these are badass, I'm telling you. Uh, got coupons here. <laughs> Hang on, let me, uh, these coupons, uh, along with the stickers, which I'll be handing out, because he gave me a, a ton of them. Um, let's see if there's a focus. 100% uh, authentic, badass, certified. That's my certification. I'll keep that on hand. And then the coupon savings. It's 10% off. Uh, all shop services, badass mods, all service parts, yada, yada. <laughs> I like that. That's so. Um, that's pretty cool. I, I, you know, if you've never watched Ichiban Moto, you got to. Uh, even if you're not into bikes, it's not about that. It's. Well, I mean, it is, but not really. Um, the guy is smart as a whip and uh, knows his stuff. So he also sent a letter. Says, uh, "Thank you for the badass sticker. I opened your letter as part of the Ichiban mailbag. I gave your channel a shout out." Ichiban. Thanks, guys. Anybody who gives me a shout-out, that's great. It's not necessary. If I send you a sticker, I don't expect you to do a shout-out, but boy, am I glad when you do. <laughs> so, now that's badass. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I sprayed this, and I noticed, obviously, I don't know if you can see it. I think it's showing up in the camera. See the pits stuff? just didn't turn out very well and I thought well that's weird then I realized it's probably the primer um, I just used what I had on hand and maybe it just didn't work so I cleaned off this space and just like here just I just did like this with some alcohol and some mineral spirits and whatever just you know get the dust and the, the grease and whatever off I sprayed it perfect well, about as perfect as you're going to get. I mean, this isn't about getting a mirrored shine, right? This is that Rust-Oleum generic uh, oil-based paint, some hardener, and some mineral spirits to, you know, spray it on there. So, I had the nozzle set too high. Uh, I, I was putting out too much material out of the gun. The um, This was so thick, I thought, well, you know, it's probably going to need to be open a little bit more. Well, it turns out, no. <laughs> I could have left it as it was, so... I'll know next time. That's why it ran here. You can see, I don't know if it shows up, but yeah, there's like a run here because it was just, I mean, it was just caking on there, right? So I just need to hold back the material a little bit more, just more air, less material, right? Anyway, and the interesting, that hardener seems to work. Because if I did that on my, anything else I like rattle canned or whatever, that would have just flaked right off. And this has only been, this hasn't even been 24 hours. This doesn't even leave a mark. So, um, I'm going to give it about a week and then sand it off and see how hard it is to sand off. And the interesting part is, um, this treats a whole gallon. So I use less than an ounce for that much paint. It was about six ounces of paint, right? Something like that. So, you know. I like it. It's not a mirror finish. I don't care. I'm not going for that. I just want to seal it up and protect it. And this seems both durable and, you know, water just obviously just beads right off. And I don't know. I think it's a good idea. It's a little brighter orange than I wanted, but that's all right. I can deal with it. And uh, it's probably showing up. It's probably not showing up correctly in the video. In fact, it's through the viewfinder. It looks like there's a big difference between here and it really isn't. It's real close. It's just a little more orange than this is. This has a little more red in it, I think. So, and then um, this is where we're at with the uh, front. Uh, so I put the motor in here. It's just sitting here because I'm going to have to take it back out to put the um, flywheel on. I did get the stator. I need to get this plug for the wire harness, this end of the plug for the wire harness, because this has got the diode in it. So I don't want to get rid of this plug. It, they didn't. They should have put the diode back further, if you ask me. That would have been nice. But then I could have just used any generic connectors to connect it up. Okay, so this uh, this is the plug for the uh, stator that I got, the alternator for this Briggs and Stratton 16 horse. 
anybody watching this has the other end of this that goes to the wiring harness and is willing to part with it, I would be most grateful. I'm trying to find the right connector, but I'm having a bit of a difficulty with it. So, uh, just, uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. Hopefully somebody does have the other end of this, <laughs> the other part that plugs into here. Um, so, um, so I got to do that. And the coil I got turns out it is an exact replacement coil for what was for what came on this motor. That's the problem. It need the coil I bought is four points. So I'm working with the repair clinic to swap what I bought for what I need. And uh, it sounds like they're going to do it and it won't be a big hassle. But anyway, I'm doing it in sections. So I did the front half, then I'll do the middle. And then I'll do the end and I'm just you know that way I don't get overwhelmed by how much is here and try to remember where everything goes and you know whatnot um, interestingly <laughs> one of the pulleys this is the lock washer for one of the pulleys they they had replaced a pulley and it had tightened it down so tight it busted the lock washer in half so that's great and then um, there's this little tidbit there's this little wonderful thing. Let me see if I can show you. Um, I may have to take it off to do that, but I don't know if you can see. God, I wish I could see the, but there's grooves here. I mean, there's like really deep grooves. Right. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to focus. Anyway, hopefully that shows up. I don't know that it will. that should look like excuse me it should look like that you know, it's nice and smooth so if somebody ran this with a bad bearing for a long time so um, so at some point I'm gonna have to get a spindle for that but um, I also have to, uh, there's some spots underneath I gotta touch up, but otherwise, it's progress, right? I don't, you know, I've got till the snow flies, right? Because that's all I really use it for, so. Uh, my air compressor and air gun, uh, I feel will work. Like, I'll be able to do this entire fender without the air compressor kicking on, so. Um, however, when I get to the deck, which is the mower deck, which is gonna be 42 inches, three blades, um, I'm probably going to have to do half, wait till the compressor fills up, and then do the other half, which I'm okay with. Um, I'm not touching that. That's a pain in the ass. Uh, what I might do uh, is just get some rattle can that's close and hit the spots where there's no paint, you know, anywhere where it might start rusting, because it's not right now. It's just paint chipped off. See, like here and here. Um, I just kind of touch it up. I'm not going to worry about re you know, spraying this. There's no way I can lift it up, and it's just and taking it apart is a nightmare. The mower deck itself is going to be heavier than crap, so I'm going to need some help getting that. But even if I have to drag it in here and paint it on the floor, that's what I'll do. But uh, yeah. So anyway, we're getting there. We're making progress. I got the uh, got the uh, side cover, uh, the um, cowl here. So I'm gonna paint everything. I'm not gonna worry about this because this gets covered by uh, this plate here. So, you know, I'm just gonna spray in there. I'm not gonna worry about getting it all. Um, and I got these sanded down and taped off and ready to go. So I just gotta. So I just gotta work out. I just gotta work out this this business here. This was real close. I backed the. Um, the adjuster off a little bit so it was spraying less material but there's still quite a bit so uh, but it, it did it did come out better in terms of how it flowed um, this was just coming out like I mean it was almost like I was pouring it out of the gun I mean it had a nice fan but it was more paint than air I think so I just need to adjust that so like I said I'm gonna give it a week and we'll see how hard it is so Anyway, that's where we're at.